Nine months ago, the University of Vermont grabbed headlines across the nation when its hockey team was caught in a landmark hazing scandal. It was embarrassing for, uh, for the players and their families and, and for the staff and the people close to, uh, to the hockey program here. An off-campus incident disclosed by fourth-string goalie Corey Latulip included the humiliating act of having freshman players walking around holding each other's genitals. Latulip later left the school in last month. He accepted $80,000 to settle a lawsuit he brought against the university. I think everybody feels that, that they're a heartbeat away, and they just, you know, they think they know what's going on. They, they all know that they don't know exactly what's going on with their team, and it's tough to know everything. This incident was something that uh, was a mock against the university, a mock against the students involved, and a mock against the program that I think will be quickly erased as long as everybody learns the lessons from it. The hazing and an attempt by the UVM players to cover it up led school officials to shut down the program on January 14th canceling the final 15 games of the season. This thing is, is going on all over the place, and, you know, I, I hated the, the fact that we, we, were, we were the ones, I guess, that, that uh, had to suffer this consequence of losing the season. But now that it has happened, hopefully this will be a lesson and make other people think uh, about it. Now, after 17 seasons of leading the UVM hockey program, Coach Mike Gilligan is faced with the task of starting over. I think all of college hockey is uh, watching the developments as they uh, start a brand new year, and we're all very confident in Mike's leadership skills. First of all, I think he'll turn it around very well. I think that uh, he, he's a great coach. He's done a great job with that program. This may be a, uh, even a uh, point for them to, to hold on to and face that adversity together, and I think it'll make them a stronger team. These student athletes came to the University of Vermont to play hockey, but also to get an education. And when the hazing scandal was finally over, they realized they had learned some invaluable lessons about life. Have respect for, for everyone, all your teammates and uh, everyone involved uh, that you come in contact with. The, you want to treat people the way that you feel like you should be treated or even better. And I think that's a big lesson we learned as a team. For the past few seasons at BU, head coach Jack Parker has used a trip to Cape Cod to help discourage hazing and promote team unity. It's something we started just recently, and I think it's really paid off for us as far as it's mostly a team building type of weekend, trying to get the, the kids involved with each other, know a little bit more about each other. And, uh, and I think it's been very beneficial to the team building process, but also beneficial to the, uh, the freshmen feeling comfortable, the upperclassmen realizing who the leaders are going to be. Uh, and to start off the season in the, in the right frame of mind. And I think we did the right thing um, in what we did last year, and I think uh, did the right thing with the steps that we're taking to uh, educate the kids for the future. And now that they've got all their off-ice problems under control, Vermont is back focusing on a much simpler goal. Winning hockey games. For Hub 66 Sports, I'm Leo Doyle.